Hi, I'm David Mines. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've downloaded and read the special report offered above. If you have, you've learned some of the basics and you may be wondering what's next. Today I'm excited to tell you about the annual Healthy Life Summit coming up in Orlando, Florida. Here's the big benefit. We take everything you've learned about in the special report and we do it all for you. It's called the Bale Donine Method to Cardiovascular Health and you'll be receiving preventive care that is 15 years ahead of everything else that's out there. You're going to have access to the very best that research has discovered. And remember, this is information that has not made it to the day-to-day -day practice of physicians and cardiologists. This is 15 years ahead of what you can get in your doctor's office. At the Healthy Life Summit, you're going to learn how to prevent the two biggest threats to your health and longevity, cancer and heart attack. Or, if you've already suffered from either of those or have a loved one who has, how to prevent it from happening again. Prevent, not treat. The conventional medical system today is very good at treating, keeping you alive when you almost die. If you make it to the hospital, they're very good at snatching you back from the jaws of death. But even that's not guaranteed. What current medicine is not very good at yet is in aggressively preventing the problem in the first place. You can do better than that. Isn't that what you really want, to prevent the problem? If you'd like to dramatically increase your chances of having a long and healthy life, free of the two big killers, please join us at the Healthy Life Summit in Orlando. This is the most advanced program I offer, but it's not for everyone. In fact, it's not for the vast majority of people. There's a significant financial investment, and insurance doesn't cover this. This is prevention. Insurance is for treatment. If you should have a heart attack, a stroke, or get cancer, your insurance will gladly pay tens of thousands of dollars for treatment, but not for prevention. If you think about it, you have auto insurance in case something bad happens to your car. But you don't expect the auto insurance company to pay for your oil changes or to rotate the tires. That's prevention. You do that so that your car has a long, productive life. It's the same with your body. Your health insurance is really there in case something terrible happens. But your job is to invest now so something terrible never does happen. Let me tell you about the Healthy Life Summit event. Here's the schedule. You fly into Orlando on Thursday at your convenience. We start at 9 a.m. on Friday. We'll have two full days on Friday and Saturday. At this exclusive event, you will have access to this new technology I told you about in the special report, the CIMT. That stands for Carotid Intimal Medial Thickness. This ultrasound test looks at the health of your carotids, those arteries found in your neck. This tells us a lot about what's going on in the rest of your body. If we find a problem in the arteries of your neck, it's a good chance you have a problem in the arteries of your heart as well. It's just that this test is so much easier on you and non-invasive compared to the other tests that are out there that look directly at the arteries of your heart. And besides that, this new test looks at the health of your artery walls. The current tests that look at your heart arteries don't do that. Again, your doctor is not checking this because it's still hard to find this technology but you'll have access to it. You'll leave the weekend knowing your cardiovascular status and with a plan of action that you can implement when you get home. You'll be back in charge of your health. You won't ever have to be a victim. And remember, the good news is that even if we find the presence of disease, you can live a long, healthy life and never have a heart attack or stroke. All we have to do is keep the disease under control, and we now know how to do that. Remember, and this is important. This is not the same ultrasound test that you may have had done in the past as part of a health screening. While it may look at the same part of the body, this new technology has only been around for a short amount of time. It gives us a far better picture of your future health. Again, not widely available around the U.S., even in major cities. But we're bringing one of the machines to the Healthy Life Summit. In our meeting coming up, you're going to understand why the current standard of care falls dramatically short in keeping you from having a heart attack or stroke. You'll also understand that we now have the knowledge to keep you from ever having one in the first place, or if you've already had one, having another one. Once again, remember NBC newsman Tim Russert. He was provided with the very best care available. His doctor had put him on a statin for his cholesterol. He was taking blood pressure medicine, an aspirin, and he got his cholesterol numbers where his doctor wanted them. He even passed a stress test. And yet he died at work 
eight weeks after passing that stress test. He was just 58. The bad news is that most doctors today are not looking at the right place for the disease. And beyond that, they are not using state-of-the-art blood and genetic testing that can identify why you have the disease and what to do about it. But just as important as the CIMT test is, you're going to receive some incredibly advanced blood and genetic work at the event as well. We want to see that if you have disease in your arteries, how likely is it that that plaque is close to rupturing? We have tests to measure that now. But these are all advanced tests that your average physician and even cardiologist usually doesn't offer. But they're absolutely essential to find out where you are right now. Now, what good is all this new information if you can't do anything with it? Well, the good news is you can do something with this information. First, we find out what your individual risk is. You as an individual, not your statistical risk, your individual risk. Once we identify that with the new technology that looks at the condition of your artery walls, and we combine that with the advanced tests that look at the inflammation risk and with these advanced genetic tests, we'll then specifically know what you need to do next. That's the exciting news here. That's where the potential is. You'll understand just why this is such a unique approach. You'll understand why this is where the standard of care will be in 15 or 20 years and how lucky you are to know about it now. I feel that way. I think this approach has saved my life. You'll learn from the experts how you can stop and even reverse cardiovascular disease. Yes, we now know you can actually reverse this disease. We never knew that before. You know what that means? It's never too late. By the way, all of your meals are provided at the event. Since my expertise is in nutrition, I want you to see that food that's good for you can taste great. And our resident chef, Nancy Stein, will be preparing all of our meals. I want you to see that you can be healthy and eat real food, too. You're going to like it. You'll find out just how much of an impact the food you eat can have on decreasing your chances of cardiovascular disease and cancer. How healthy you are has a lot to do with the quality of the fuel you put in this machine, what you eat. And not only your health, but your day-to-day -day productivity, too. Ever since the field of human nutrition was founded, all we ever had to measure most of your nutritional status was to take a three or four day food record of what you ate and make some calculations from that. Not anymore. We are way beyond the old basic four food groups. Today, we can measure your actual nutritional status with a blood sample. We never could do that until recently. Did you know that the majority of Americans take some sort of vitamin supplement? But research shows that those that need supplements the most are the least likely to take them. And those that do take them are often taking the wrong ones. I mean, how do you really know what you should be taking? You'll learn exactly where you stand with your vitamin and mineral status. No more guessing. We'll also measure your antioxidant status and we'll measure your immune function as it relates to your nutritional status as well. Then we'll show you how you can improve it all. This is cutting-edge science that, in all due respect, most physicians haven't got a clue about. Hey, but it's not all going to be work. Your evenings are free, and on Saturday evening, if you'd like to join us, included in your weekend will be a fun time at one of Orlando's premier events. We're going to keep it a secret for now, but you're going to have a great time. On Sunday morning, you'll receive some more of your test results. You'll be back home in your bed Sunday evening and ready to start your week on Monday. We'll put you in touch with experts that can direct you and follow your progress when you get back home. You'll understand how you can dramatically cut down on your cancer risk, too. But the Orlando event will tell you where you stand now. You'll know your real status and what needs to be done. You know what else is nice? As a result of participating in this program, you'll stay more mentally sharp as the years go by. Cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis, what they used to call hardening of the arteries, of the small brain arteries, plays a role in age-related dementia. Successfully controlling cardiovascular disease helps maintain the health of the microvessels of the brain. Better brain health, better memory. When it comes to preventing a heart attack or stroke, your goal should be to find out, number one, if you have the disease, and you want to find that out much earlier than what current medicine can tell you, and number two, to what extent you have the disease. With that information, we can determine a plan of action to stop the progression of the disease if it's there. Now, one more thing, let me ask you. If you're a man, 
are you the primary cook in your home? <laughs> that's what I thought. For a lot of men, it's their spouse that's the real caretaker of health for the family. She's usually the gatekeeper of the health decisions for everyone. You need to have your life partner on board with you in this effort. You need their support. You know the old saying, behind every great man is a woman. For a lot of us, our spouse is our cheerleader. When times are tough, they're the ones that still believe in us. You need your spouse to come as well. Besides, cardiovascular disease now kills more women than it does men. Ever since 1984, women have not only gained equality with men in this area, they've actually surpassed us. Cardiovascular disease kills 10 times the number of women each year than does breast cancer. 10 times as many women die from heart attacks and strokes as from breast cancer. A lot of people don't know that. And 64% of women who die suddenly of cardiovascular disease had no previous symptoms. They didn't have any indication that something was wrong. The first symptom was that they died. That's one more reason why they call it the silent killer. You need your spouse to come. And if you're a woman watching this, not only do you need to get control of your own cardiovascular health, it still is the number one cause of death in men as well. You need to bring your spouse too. Regardless of who you are, your chances of making some very real long-term progress in this area are much improved if you bring your spouse. Today you have an opportunity to never become a statistic. Today you have an opportunity of avoiding the pain and tragedy of premature death or disability from a heart attack or stroke. You probably know the story of my dad. He died at the young age of just 56 from complications of heart disease. If I could turn back the hands of time, I would make my dad do this program. But there was no such program back then. He's gone now and I don't have that option with him anymore. We didn't have this knowledge back then. But now we do, but it's still not common knowledge. Having read the special report and knowing what you know now, you're already ahead, way ahead of the average American. Frankly, you're ahead of the average physician too. I'm gonna be bold here and say that what you'll get at the Healthy Life Summit in Orlando will be one of the most important things you'll ever receive your whole life because it can literally save your life. You're at a fork in the road in your journey. You can continue to hope that everything's going to be okay or you can take control of your destiny, of your future. This just might mean getting to see your grandchildren grow up. It might mean seeing them get married. It might mean dramatically decreasing your chances of having a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, and still having a mind and body that works great as you get older, and living a life free of disability because you never had a stroke. It may mean not leaving your spouse as a widow or widower, and living long enough to enjoy the fruits of all those years you put in working. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And if you're ready to reserve your place at the Healthy Life Summit, go ahead and click on the registration button below. Remember, we're limiting attendance at this event so people can still get some personalized attention. Time is short since we need to run some blood tests and get the results back so they're ready for us at the event. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm David Mines. I hope you'll join us in Orlando.